Welcome to the Imperial Comprehensive Biomedical Research Centre. This BRC is a partnership between the Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust, the largest acute trust in England, and Imperial College, rated fifth in the world in the Times Higher Rankings for its preclinical and clinical research. Imperial BRC is spread across the five trust hospitals as well as the campuses of Imperial. Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust serves more than 3 million people in North West London. Its five hospitals, Charing Cross, Hammersmith, Queen Charlotte and Chelsea, St Mary's and the Western Eye have more than 1,500 beds and one of the lowest hospital standardised mortality ratios in the UK. The unique strengths of the BRC lie in its interdisciplinary working. Clinicians working with engineers to develop regenerative biomaterials or with computing experts to develop novel imaging techniques and with chemists to develop point-of-care diagnostics. I'll be looking at the facilities available to the BRC, see what it's like to be involved in the work here and how it's set to flourish in the future. This is the Sir John McMichael Centre at the Hammersmith Hospital and I've come here to meet Professor Jonathan Weber, Director of the Imperial BRC, and find out more about the work that they do here. This is the Sir John McMichael Centre. This is the heart of our BRC. This is the clinical centre where we undertake proof of concept studies. What we have in the McMichael Centre are highly specialised nurses and doctors we have a very close relationship with our pharmacists who need to develop these new materials. We have a stem cell center where we can develop uh, uh, genetically modified cells for cell-based therapy. But for many of the clinical studies we do, we need to be embedded where the patients are in the disease-specific areas. So we have 13 disease-specific clinical research facilities uh, across all of our campuses across West London. This is a particularly exciting time for the McMichael Centre. We've put up a new uh, 100 million pound development on this site, L Block, and the McMichael will be moving into brand new purpose-built 25 bed facilities on the ground floor of L Block in the first quarter of 2012. Four cross-cutting themes are planned for the BRC, genetics and genomics, stratified medicine, biobanking and imaging. And let's turn to the imaging capabilities first and Professor Eric Abuaji. So Imperial has within its hospitals uh, imaging research facilities but what makes us unique is the, pre the access to uh, dedicated clinical research facilities. The first one is neonatal unit has a dedicated MRI. This is the only one in the world and this allows them to non-invasively image the brains of vulnerable children and are making great headway in uh, being able to really dissect the causes and consequences of brain injury. The Comprehensive Cancer Imaging Center is based at Hammersmith Hospital campus. This center is funded by CRUK, APSRC, MRC and NIHR. Uh, we're developing novel biomarkers and technologies and applying them to um, MRI, PET and ultrasound in cancer research. Then we have the Sinai unit which has two 1.5 Tesla MRIs and one 3 Tesla MRI state-of-the-art equipment and uh, here uh, this is provided by college and by the MRC and really demonstrates synergy between the CSC uh, Institute and our BRC. And then finally uh, we have a new alliance which uh, is formed between Imperial, MRC, GSK, King's and UCL. And this center is based here at the Hammersmith and is really dedicated to uh, applying imaging to areas such as cancer, neuroscience and cardiovascular disease. It has superb facilities, two PET CT scanners and also two three Tesla MR scanners. This is really a great example of how the BRC partners can work together and also uh, with industry. The second theme is genetics and genomics, an area where there have been extraordinary technological advances over the last five years. 
here at the Imperial BRC, we have invested heavily in infrastructure and equipment to keep us at the leading edge of next generation sequencing technologies. Our funding has included an NIHR Capital Investment Award, which we have used to refurbish and equip new molecular pathology laboratories. In these laboratories, scientists use state-of-the-art DNA sequences and informatics to stratify and personalize the management of patients across the medical specialties. I've come to Imperial South Kensington campus to talk to Professor Jeremy Nicholson and Professor Elaine Holmes about stratified medicine. Stratified medicine is an approach to personalization of healthcare where you get the right treatment for the right patient based on a knowledge of their detailed biology which can come from genes, metabolites or all sorts of stuff. Well we have a, a huge range of technology here. This is one of the world's greatest centers for metabolic phenotyping. Uh, we have something like 10 NMR spectrometers and uh, 12 mass spectrometers devoted to metabolic profiling. We take biological samples and measure hundreds or even thousands of chemicals simultaneously. Then we use mathematical modeling to create diagnostics or even prognostics and we're currently aggressively implementing this in a clinical translational setting in St Mary's Hospital. For the final cross-cutting theme of biobanking, let's hear from Professor Paul Elliott. The biobanking theme supports stratified medicine and personalised healthcare research across the trust. Uh, it involves research on biomarkers for disease progression, disease severity and also response to treatment. This is the facility at the Hammersmith campus. The biobank involves three components, a clinical biobank for patients as they present for healthcare to the trust. We will collect samples from them, store samples and data for future research. Uh, there's population biobanks such as the lollipop study. And finally, we have a tissue biobank for collecting samples and storing samples, again, for research for the BRC uh, across the trust. To undertake world-class clinical studies, the BRC has dedicated support to make sure that every stage of a clinical trial is carried out to the highest scientific standard. The Imperial Clinical Trials Unit brings together clinicians, statisticians, data managers, monitors and experienced trial managers. The unit is provisionally registered with the UKCRC. Many of the research facilities at Imperial BRC are unique. One example is the Surgical Technology Facility, established by Professor Lord Aradazi. Well, we are in the Surgical Innovation Centre, which is a joint venture between the University and the NHS Trust. We are currently in the Hamlin Robotics Lab, where most of our inventions come out from. The floor above us is the Educational and Training Centre. We are essentially training surgical practitioners in the use of such technologies. And the floor above is the real operating theatre, translating the innovation from here in real clinical use. A huge number of technologies have come through here, including smart instruments, robotic technologies, all of which are reducing the psychological and physical trauma of surgery. We have huge collaborations with industry and a number of different patterns that come up from this organisation, which is translated into not just health, but also economic impact. Patients are at the very heart of Imperial BRC. Everything that's done here is done to improve their health and well-being. My name is Bethany and I was involved in the trial here and it included me having an SNS shower in, installed into my house and it had to be turned on when I slept. And then I had to come here regularly to have lots of questionnaires and nasal tests and lung function tests. I really enjoyed it because it was very exciting and I learned more things about how to do research. Imperial BRC is forward thinking. Ultimately, every patient will be invited to take part in research. And a patient descent form is already being piloted at multiple sites, including the National Center for Human Retrovirology. This is one of three infection facilities alongside the HIV Research Unit and the UK CRC Center for Infection Prevention and Management. This snapshot of the BRC has already revealed the investment made by Imperial, by the NHS Trust, by NIHR and many other funders that have turned it into the world-class facility it is today. Further investment will step up the level of research even further, delivering even more benefit for patients.